Hey there, welcome back to FrameDrop. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly how to create a clean and cinematic speed ramp in After Effects. Whether you're working on a music edit, a montage, or just wanna add that extra punch to your videos, this one's gonna level up your edits instantly. I'll walk you through stabilizing your footage, syncing to audio beats, using the value graph, and even adding some subtle shake effects for that extra flair. So grab your clips, follow along, and let's make something cool. Things first, import all the video clips you need. Now create a new composition. I'm naming this one Main Speed Ramp. Set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 pixels and set the frame rate to 60 FPS. Trust me, that gives you smoother animations. Once that's done, hit OK. The four footages I'm using are linked down in the description if you want to follow along. Now let's start with the first clip. Right click and pre-compose it. As you'll see, the footage is a bit shaky and for a cleaner speed ramp, we need to stabilize it. So go to the tracker panel and click on stabilize motion. You'll now see a track point appear on the screen. Drag it over a unique point in the footage, somewhere with clear contrast. Click play, now watch the tracker. If it's not following properly, no worries. Try a different point. Sometimes it takes a few tries. Once it tracks properly, click apply and make sure both X and Y dimensions are selected. Now scale and reposition the footage so no black bars appear on the edges. Once that's good, add this composition back into your main comp. Repeat this stabilization process for the remaining clips. For now, I'm speeding this part up. Next, let's bring in our audio. Once it's in the timeline, right-click the audio layer, go to Keyframe Assistant, and select Convert Audio to Keyframes. That'll create a new layer called Audio Amplitude. We don't need all of it, so go to the Effects panel and delete the left and right channels. We're only using the both channels to mark the beats. Expand it, and you'll see some keyframes. Pick any keyframe and open the graph editor. You'll see spikes in the graph. That's where the beats hit. Now, add markers on each beat using the asterisk key on your numpad. Let me play it back. Yep, those markers match the mini beats in the audio. I'm going to tweak it a little bit to sync better. All right, that looks perfect. Now double click into your video composition and enable frame blending. Back in your main comp, right click your video layer, go to time and enable time remapping. Scrub the marker point you placed. Move the final keyframe of the video to that marker so it ends right on the beat. Go one frame ahead, this is important, and press Ctrl Shift D to split the layer. Select the two keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Then go into the graph editor. Make sure you're viewing the value graph. If you're not, click this icon and switch to it. Now in this graph, the steeper the slope, the faster the speed, the flatter the slope, the slower it goes. So I'm adjusting it so the video starts super fast and then gradually slows down towards the end. You can see that at the final keyframe, the curve is really flat, which means super slow. That's the magic of the ramp. All right, let's preview it. Yeah, that's looking smooth. Now duplicate the layer and slide it forward to match the next moment. To get that boomerang effect, right click the duplicate and select time reverse layer. Then adjust those keyframes and the graph again, just like before. Don't forget to enable motion blur on the layer and for the comp too. You might see a black frame pop up. To fix it, move the second layer back by one frame. That's what I meant earlier about how time remapping works. Be confident messing around with keyframes. Seriously, that's how you learn. And hey, that already looks really cool. Now pre-compose this layer, give it a shit name or whatever you want. Repeat the same process for your other clips. Just make sure that if one clip ends with a zoom in, the next one starts with a zoom in too. If not, just time reverse the layer to match it. It creates a smoother transition. 
All right, speeding up a bit here, adjust the keyframes, duplicate for the boomerang, and boom. Okay, here's an issue. The second clip ends with a zoom out, but the third starts with a zoom in. No problem. Time reverse it and fix the keyframes. Let's play it back. Smooth, right? Let's make this even better. How about we add a little shaky effect in between? Create a new adjustment layer, trim it like this. Now go to Effects and Presets and search for Exposure. Add it and set some keyframes so the exposure rises and falls quickly. Just a quick pulse. Press F9 on those keyframes for smoothness. Now play it. Nice. Let's add even more shake. Search for CC Lens. Set the size to 100, convergence to 500. Now add three keyframes for size. The first and third should be 500, and that gives us a neat little warp. Copy this adjustment layer and place it between the other clips too. Your speed ramp is ready. Let's take one final look at the whole edit. Looks awesome, right? Now go ahead and export it with your usual settings, and you're done. And that's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, and of course, subscribe to FrameDrop for more editing tips and breakdowns like this. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. I'll be there. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.